So I'm having an issue with this light. When I turn it on, it does this. And today I'm going to fix it. And we're going to talk about how to do that. It's actually pretty simple. Inside the light fixture here, there's a wattage regulator. Basically, when you have a bunch of light bulbs, you could potentially put light bulbs in that are a higher wattage than what the light is requiring, and it would be in the recommend. It'll be in the instructions. It might um, be rated for 60 watt light bulbs, and you could put 100 watt light bulbs in. And just so they don't draw too much electricity for what the this is rated for, they have a wattage regulator. So you can go online and order another wattage regulator for your light oftentimes or call the manufacturer and get it and they'll probably charge you or you can bypass that which could be dangerous because you could potentially put in light bulbs that are higher rated than that are higher wattage than what it's rated for so that's something to definitely keep in mind um, as a disclaimer I'm not a, um, a licensed electrician and I am um, just I'm not giving you instruction on what to do. I'm just talking about what is wrong with this situation. So take it for what you want. First off, I'm going to remove the th screw. There's usually three screws. There's a screw, three or four. Then there's one over here. And then one over on that side. So there's three screws to remove and it should drop right down. Once you remove those screws, the whole thing just drops right down and there's a simple little connection that you can unplug and take the whole light down to the ground so it's easier to work on. This is the voltage regulator and you have two wires for the two neutrals going in, a neutral in, a neutral out. You have, here it says a uh, well, the, the blue one here says a live in, live wire in, and then there's the light out, but that's the hot wire. And it looks like this might not even need splicing. It looks like we might be able to just bypass it um, simply. So let's see. So that was the case. We were able to just unplug the, the wires, and the wires just plugged right into themselves to make the connection. Of course, this could be dangerous if we put the wrong light bulbs in at this point being that it does not have this regulator. The moment of truth. I plugged the little uh, the plug back in to connect the wires, um, put in the three screws that I had just taken out, popped it back up, and here we go. Voila, that was all it took. But of course, if you do that, be sure to check the manual and be sure to use the proper light bulbs that are going to have a lower wattage than what it requires.